Hey everyone, it's Jared here. Um, I wanted to give this a try because I was inspired by Alex Finn's video on using AI to help you code, to, uh, to help you code something. Um, I don't know how to code, nothing, don't know anything about what I'm doing. Um, but with the power of AI tools, it's really easy to jump in and start creating things off the top of your head. And one of the things I created recently was a weather app. Uh, there's a free API code you can get from Open Weather. Um, and we're going to jump in and I'll take you through the process of how I use AI to code something really, really quickly. Uh, let's jump into it. So I use Perplexity because I have a pro license with them. And for me, it just does a job when it comes to simple things. Uh, obviously, they are they for, they're, they're like the best when it comes to research, but they can also do some easy kind of coding as well. And I'm using Replit 2 to test code and to see the creations uh, live. So um, first thing is the prompt. And uh, this is a prompt. I'm going to zoom in here so you have, have a look at it. Uh, but basically, I'd like to start it out with, you know, you're an expert coder. I'm a beginner. I rep it or I'm using Replit. I want to create a very basic weather app that can tell the weather of a specific city around the world. Uh, here's my API key from Open Weather. I want to use JavaScript. And I want the display to be in Celsius and Fahrenheit because I still can't calculate it. Can, can anyone calculate the difference between them? I don't know how this works. I work in Celsius. I live in the US now. It's Fahrenheit. It's very confusing to me. Uh, for open weather, um, you can go to open weather here and create a free account. And then you can create API keys for you to use. Uh, normally you're not supposed to share these, but I will deactivate all of them afterwards. Uh, but yeah, so you can make a free key here. And I think you're able to do some, some basic um, it has a free plan here for you, that you can use by by, by default. Uh, so you know, it says 60 calls per minute. We're only really going to call this once, and I don't need to know the weather that often, but I thought this would be a really cool thing for me to create. But go to Open Weather, you can make, uh, you can get an API code, and you can paste that into your prompt here. Cool. So after that, uh, I like to do on pro mode, because why not? And then... Let's start. So from that uh, original prompt, it's going to start taking the, the process of working out how to tell me how to do it. And this is why I really like perplexity is because with the pro search, it just gives you a breakdown of how it's doing the research. You can see all the different sources where it's getting information from. And then when it gives me the answer, it gives me the, the, the sources of where it got it from. And I really like this because as someone who's kind of new to all this, knowing where inf where Perplex is getting information from is really handy for me to know if I need to get more information or want to do upskill myself in that way as as well. So it's a prerequisite. Make sure you have replica account, basic knowledge, kind of, and I have the key which I already have. So we're gonna go uh, here, and we're gonna create HTML, CSS, JS. We're gonna name it uh, Basic Weather App. Here, we're going to create a REPL, I guess is what it's called, and it will open up uh, the basic ethos of coding, basically, here. We're going to get rid of the AI stuff here, and then you can see on the right here, we have the basic Hello World uh, standard standard code uh, to test if something works. But as we uh, add more code in, we'll be able to run what we're creating and able to see it live. And this is why we like REPL. It's why I'm new to using it. And I'm just a huge fan that you'll be able to see what you create as you go instead of waiting to finish and then testing it out. I think that's pretty straightforward. So back on perplexity here, it says to set up your HTML structure, create an index.html file with the following basic structure. I have an index.html file already created for me. It's quite a standard one to have. I'm going to hit the copy button here. Basically, just going to copy it in straight. Boom. And there we go. That's step one already done for you uh setting up the bare bones of this weather app that we're going to be creating here the next step here is to write the javascript code and it's great that it gives me the code already it says to create a script.js file which we do already have here on the left it's blank right now we're going to copy it here and this is where the api code is really really handy uh press enter so you see the api code is added in here and it's good that we had this before starting the prompt because it was able to drop it in directly to the code. If you start with the prompt without the API code and some information, it may have like a placeholder text that says insert API key, things like that. 
uh, by getting all that stuff sorted and including it in the original prompt, it's just faster because Perplexity or any tool that you're using will already include that in there. So that's really, really cool. So that's in there perfectly. We've started that. And then the next thing after this uh, is just to run the app. So we're going to make sure that index HTML, which is here, and script the JS is there in the project, and we can click the run button to start the server. So we're going to run it here. And on the web view, we have our basic weather app. So if I type in, type in New York City, get weather, it gives it to me in Celsius and gives it to me in Fahrenheit. Super cool, basic weather app complete, and it's all coded for you within minutes here. What I love about Perplexity as well is that it gives you a bit of a breakdown. So it tells you that the HTML file uh, it's, it's includes the inputs and C name and about the trigger, the fetch, and the JavaScript part, which is a script.js, actually does the API call for us. So use this fetch API to get the weather data in metric. The temperature is then converted to Fahrenheit and displayed along the name, which is really cool. So it kind of tells you how it did it in the process, which is just absolutely fantastic. The cool thing here now is you can keep following up. So let's say uh, I want to change the background of this app to, uh, I don't know, to a dark blue color and all of the text and font to be in white. So you can also start iterating and playing around with it. And this is where you can, you know, learn, I guess, different, different ways to edit the output of your app. So it's thinking here, again, showing me the process it's taking. So here is doing some programming stuff. So it's going through, just checking to see the updates that it needs to do. So it says here, to change the background of the wrap, add to dark blue and color and make alt text, what you need to modify the CSS in your index.html file. So update the HTML with CSS. So modify the style section. So we go to index here and we're looking for style. Oh, perfect. So it says to edit, uh, style that opens it, but where does style close? There, perfect. So style, style. So here we want to we want to grab this, copy it, and we want to replace the style area here, I believe, with that. So the body selector selects the entire page background to dark blue. The color property in the body it sets it to white. So we're going to run this now and see if this works. So run. Dark blue, white text. Let's go Tokyo, Japan, all in white. And then you can just keep kind of iterating on top of that. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. I love this little workflow now of just creating basic things, learning how to how to code. And I like perplexity because it gives sources of where it gets information uh, from in case you want to learn further. But that's a really basic weather app using AI. Hope this is helpful. And I want to know what else I can kind of create. So I'm going to keep exploring these. But if you're creating anything really cool using AI to help you code, please let me know. I'd love to explore it. Hope this has been helpful.